ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW brake discs and pads used in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake discs and pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of your vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels. Raise the rear of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. While the handbrake is in use, use a Torx 30 socket to loosen the screw holding the disc. For vehicles equipped with an electric handbrake, you need to put the brake caliper in maintenance mode using a diagnostic device. To do this, we recommend you watch our video How to put an electric handbrake in maintenance mode. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a flathead screwdriver, lift the holding spring on the pads, then take it out. Make sure you keep a finger on the spring during the operation to avoid it jumping out. Remove the caps covering the caliper mounting bolt. Using a 7mm Allen key under the two caliper mounting bolts. In order to remove the caliper completely, disconnect the ABS sensor by pushing the tab with a flat screwdriver. Remove the brake caliper. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. Loosen the brake caliper mount screws using a ratchet, a large extension and an M14 12-point socket. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. Complete the removal of the disc retaining screw to remove the disc. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Clean the hub with a wire brush. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take the new brake rotor. Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the fastening screws by hand as much as possible. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the brake pads go. Reassemble the caliper mount, again screwing it by hand and finishing with a ratchet and an M14 12-point socket to lock it in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench.
take the new brake pads. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place. Now, put the brake caliper back in place, ensuring that the caliper mounting bolts are aligned with your housing. Before reinstalling the caliper, you need to check the proper sliding of the caliper mounting bolts and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with the new ones. Push the caliper mounting bolts and begin tightening with a ratchet. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the caps back in place. Reconnect the ABS sensor. Put back in place the holding springs of the pads. You can use a hammer to help you. Ensure that the spring is fully inserted into the hole. Tighten the disc retaining screw with a torque spanner. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. It is now time to reactivate the electric handbrake. To do this, we recommend you watch our video how to put an electric handbrake in maintenance mode. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 km or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.